Hi, welcome to Now It Shall Come to Pass Prophetic Word. My name is Gina and I have a very interesting word from the Lord for us this week. I don't believe that this word is for everyone. And if this word is for you, I'm going to ask you to hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell, share this video with many. Friends, I have one scripture. However, I did cross-reference this scripture to get a better understanding of what the Lord wanted to say to us this week. And so if you have your Bibles, open up to Matthew chapter 14, verse 1. And this is how it reads. It says, At that time Herod, the Tetrarch, heard the report of Jesus and said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead, and therefore these powers are at work in him. I wanted to know what was in the heart of God for us. So I cross-referenced the verse and it took me to Luke chapter 9, verses 7 through 9. And this is how it reads. And I got more insight with this one verse. Now Herod the Tetrarch heard all that was happening. He was greatly perplexed because it was said by some that John had risen from the dead and by some that Elijah had appeared and by others that one of the prophets of old had risen again. Herod said, I myself had John beheaded, but who is this man about whom I hear these things? And he kept trying to see him. Once I read the second scripture, I had understanding about what was going on here. This has to do with Herod. He was a leader at the time. What had happened is he didn't know what to make of Jesus. He, could, he recognized that there was power in who he was. He recognized that he wasn't your average person. And he related him to John the Baptist. Now, Herod had it wrong on Jesus because he thought that Jesus was John the Baptist that had risen from the dead. What Herod didn't understand is John the Baptist said that he wasn't worthy to take Jesus' sandals off because of who Jesus was. How do you relate this to you and to me? People will recognize that Jesus is in you and they will know that there is something different. However, they may not understand what really is inside of you. And it is the Holy Spirit. It is Jesus in you that they see. However, they may see the Holy Spirit working in your life. And why is it that you know the things that you know? Why is it that you work and operate the way that you do? But because they don't understand, do not be surprised if they think that you're into witchcraft or that you get your information from another source or that perhaps you may be off mentally. There may be many things that could be said about you, but you must keep your eyes on Jesus and not let that affect you. You have to remember that they don't understand, that they don't have what you have. They don't operate in the Holy Spirit like you do. They don't see the relationship and the intimacy that you have with Jesus and that he reveals things to you above and beyond what others know. Take it with a grain of salt. This is why it was so important. You look up what God says about his same word. And this is where everything changed for me. I, I was given one scripture and when I cross-referenced, what came to mind was this. You see, when I first read Matthew 14, 1, I didn't remember what Herod the Tetrarch had done. But once I went to Luke chapter 9, verses 7 through 9, I remembered Herod had John the Baptist beheaded because John the Baptist confronted him on his sin. Herod the Tetrarch was being intimate with his brother's wife, and John the Baptist called him out on it. Because of this, John the Baptist ended up beheaded. So here's what I want us to pay attention to. Those that speak, see Herod here 
couldn't see the truth. He couldn't understand who Jesus was. And I believe it is because he was in sin. Sin blinds a person. It doesn't matter what kind of sin you've entertained or you're entertaining. It's going to cause you to be blinded. You're not going to see with clarity. And there's many Christians that can be Christians. But if they are entertaining sin, they're tainted. And they cannot see right. And so what will happen is that because they're tainted, they're going to look at you and think that you're tainted. But it's really that they've been tainted and they see you with tainted glasses. I'm going to tell you a story that I heard a while back and it made me laugh, but it convicted me as, as well. And here's what happened. There was two sisters that lived in a house. They cleaned their house. They were organized women. They felt like they, they were upright citizens. And so there was a person that moved next door, next to them. And one of the sisters would always say to the other one, oh my goodness, our neighbor doesn't know how to wash clothes because the neighbor would hang the clothes on a line outside where they could see it. And so one of the sisters would criticize her neighbor that she didn't know how to wash clothes. And she even went as far as to say to her, to her sister, let's teach her, let's show her what detergent to use and how to do it. So one day the sister that would criticize her neighbor went to the supermarket. And when she came back, she looked out the window and she saw that her neighbor had washed her clothes the right way this time. She said to her sister, the neighbor finally got it. She washed her clothes the right way. And the sister said to her, no, it's not that she washed her clothes the right way. While you went to the supermarket, I washed our windows. And so friends, it's a funny story, but it's a very convicting story. What I'm here to do is to encourage you. Do not get distracted by what others say. Do not get distracted by how you're looked at. Do not get distracted by what is said about you. You see, Jesus is in you. The Holy Spirit is in you. And you operate in the Holy Spirit and in Jesus Christ. Keep your eyes on the Lord and know that if our Lord and Savior was judged wrongfully, so will his people be judged wrongfully especially by those who are living in sin or who are tainted by sin. You see, they're not going to see right. They may think they see right, but they don't. So you must keep your eyes and your heart focused on Jesus and keep doing what he has called you to do. Because just as our Lord, as he did signs, miracles, and wonders, those powers that Herod saw in him, is the same power that dwells in you and me. And if we, if we abide in Jesus Christ, remember what he said. These things that I do and even more so will you do if you believe in me. Friends, just believe. Just believe and we will do great exploits for the glory of his name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Bye-bye.